Diamond Painting friends, it's me, Brie. I have a special unboxing. So normally I don't do unboxings of diamond paintings, but um, it is my first DIY, DIY moon shop. I don't know if I'm actually saying it correctly, but it came shipped to me in this white bag. It wasn't um, chewed open like this. I actually opened it because I didn't want to struggle <laughs> after I started filming, but I did want to show you that it did ship in um, a bag like this, and I'm just being careful to not flip it all the way around so you don't see my address, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the white bag. Sorry for the shaking. So, um, this order, I placed this order on April 1st and it arrived today on what is today <laughs> May 17th so about a little over a month and a half to get to me from the day I ordered to the day I received so I got two kits um, the reason I got two kits was they had a coupon code for 50% off your entire order for new customers. So um, this is my very first order. Obviously I use the coupon for <laughs> new customers. Um, I have seen the boxes before. It looks like it's taped up. I don't know if this is like typical. It has packaging tape all the way around the box. So that might just be normal. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if it's a customs thing, like when it goes through customs. So I'm just going to be careful of when. How do you open these boxes? <laughs> I guess I'll just slice it open on both sides of it. So, I have seen unboxings and people working on kits from this shop before, but I have not seen these kits. How do you... Oh, okay. If you want to see what in the world... How do you... How long is it going to take me to figure out how to open this box? <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why was that so difficult? <laughs> okay, um, so I could already see the little sticker on the end of the box of what kit I opened first. So I wonder if the special drills, because I did order... Um, Let's see, one, two, I did order four things of special drills. So let me just put this box behind me for right now and then we'll put, I think they might be in here or this one just has lots and lots of drills. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. It's my first time. That could be taken so many different ways, but... All right. <laughs> Alrighty. So this kit is um, Kahlo by, and I don't know, I don't know how to say the artist's name. Um, oh, okay. So it's like a soft lint backing. Ooh. It came with a toolkit. Here's my drills. And I do apologize, this is one reason why I don't do unboxings, because I, I am not equipped with the proper space to do unboxings. Okay, I like how soft this is. Okay. DIY Moon Chop. So, oops, I'm sorry to knock into you. I'm going to just bring you down here a little bit lower. So, on the very bottom here, we have the legend or the schematic. It has their logo here. And then we have the information. 
I'm gonna go over the canvas first, apparently. <laughs> um, so we have the logo or the shop logo, and then here's the image. Here's the information about the kit. Kahlo by DJ Pa Este. I'm not sure if I said that his last name correctly or not. <laughs> Um, it is 50 by 72 centimeters, and then it does have, let's see, 41 colors, and the colors are beautiful. All right, now let's take a closer look at, and I do apologize about the barking. It's like springtime, the weather's really nice, there's lots of activity outside. The grid looks nice. I like the colors. I like how soft this is. I really liked this image a lot when I saw it on the website. I was like, oh, I really want this. It, I just, I really like the style. So I'm excited to work on this. And can't wait to see what it's like. There's a closer look. I don't know how they do charting. This is my first time with um, something that's not Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, Diamond Dots. Um, so I'm I'm keeping an open mind. I don't know what to think. It looks a little bit blurry, but also I don't, some, some part of it I think is the artist, um, style as well, but that's why I'm kind of like looking at it closely and I'm not sure about how DIY Moonshop renders, but I really like how the canvas feels. It's got that, um, like it's very soft and it's very like pliable and flimsy. It's like not thick at all. So I'm gonna wrap this up or roll this up, put it to the side for a second. Let's look at the drills. I'm not gonna unbag them because that's just not something that I do. And I think they might be in order, but um, let's look at Sorry about the crinkly, but I do want to look at the inventory list that's inside here. Okay, so first thing that I notice is that it doesn't come with, these aren't stickers, so that's kind of, you know, for the price that you pay um, for the kit, um, I would like to see this to be a sticker. Oh, I forgot we're so close. Um, yeah, for the price of the kit, and I know I realize that I do, I did use a coupon that got me 50% off of this, but that's kind of beside the fact, um, you're, they were still asking quite a bit of money. Um, and I'm not talking about including shipping or anything like that. It's still, it was still an expensive kit, um, for the, for the, um, numbers and everything to come on just a piece of paper and not even on sticker paper. Um, so that's kind of a con in my, in my eye, but it does tell you, here's the code, the DMC, how many drills they needed for that color and how many bags I should have in here of that color. All in all, I'm really happy with it. Um, 
I can't make like a 100% like greatest experience ever or anything like that because I haven't worked on a kit yet so I don't know but once I start working on it and I have a post review and everything like that I'll definitely have a better idea oh it did come with um, a basic tool kit so um, it looks like it came with some tweezers a basic pen uh, one of those white trays some hard pink wax, some lighter pink wax, squishy, and a multi-placer. Um, I wish there was an option to like decline the toolkit because I would have probably just declined adding the extra bulk and weight to the package. Um, but all in all, I am really happy with the image that I chose and I look forward to working on it. I think it's a beautiful piece of art and I love the colors of the drills, especially like, look at this purple with the blue and the green, like these colors are beautiful. Um, I did get this in a round because they do charge extra for squares and I like rounds. <laughs> So I chose rounds, um, but I'm going to put this back together for right now and probably, you'll probably see me kit this up in the near future to be honest. Alright, let's open the next box. Ooh, squeaky noise okay I really hope my special drills are bundled in here because they weren't with the other kit <laughs> all right what in the world why is why is there bag why are their packaging so bizarre? What's happening? I just completely tore it in half somehow. Okay, well, whatever. This, I'll just have to go back into the box without the plastic. <laughs> okay, oh, here, here is the special. Yay! Alrighty. So this one I'm really excited about. I have not, here's um, the other special, or basic toolkit. Here's the color palette. It's pretty neutral. Pretty beigey. <laughs> All right, ready to see this kit? Oh, I don't know how I feel about what I just saw. All right, here we go. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, my first reaction, um, let me change the coloring on my lamp. Hold on one second. Okay, I turned it off. So the first thing I saw, her face, um, it, I, in the original <laughs> photo she has her eyes open um I will really try I need to try I'm gonna write it down actually um that to enter the original photo I'll try to like put it up in the corner um and I do know I should have probably ordered a larger size I know that is partially on me and it might 
it might be, you know, trust the process, work it up because you just never know. But also there's words on the bottom and um, I know what it's supposed to say, but if you didn't, I don't know if you would be able to read what it says. I'm going to be really honest. <laughs> um, I would have thought that like this is almost like a budget quality, but way out of budget pricing. <laughs> like this is what the the rendering is coming off as and that's pretty disappointing. Now, I won't completely blame it on the company. Part of it is on me because if you're going to buy a painting um, that has a lot of detail in it and they do give you options for different sizes, maybe I should have picked a bigger size. However, if you're going to offer... Um, artwork that has writing on it or a lot of detail maybe don't offer customers sizes that aren't going to work up well now I can't say that it's going to look awful when it's worked up because obviously I haven't worked it up yet do I trust the process and just do it am I going to hate working on this I'm I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit disappointed with this one but I don't I don't know what else to do so I'm glad that this one was my second one to open it wasn't the first one I guess um let's look at it a little bit closer shall we I was really hopeful for this one um, let's look at the skull here. Oh, let's see. I got it in the size. You're probably looking at it like, well, what size did you get? So this is Evil Queen by Medusa the Dollmaker in 50 by 70, 71 centimeters. Um, let me see if I can... I'll see if I can find out what other sizes. I know there's other sizes, but honestly, I just, I wanted a couple of paintings. I wasn't trying to like blow my entire budget. It has 41 colors in it. Um, let's look at these, this face. Yeah, these eyes, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to think and I can already tell that I'm going to hate this section right here I'm gonna hate all of this so at least I got it for half off <laughs> Um, let's look at, I'm not going to open this, but here's the color of the drills. They, I, I like them and I don't know if I would take the chance to order this kit again in a bigger size. Like, would that be better? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below um, your thoughts. Have you ordered from DIY, DIY Moon? Um, am I being too harsh? Do I just trust the process and work on it anyways? Um, what are your thoughts? So, yeah. Um, let's open up the special drills that I bought. I'm going to just fold this up because I don't want to look at her face anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so it came in this cute little bag that's nice and branded. 
which is a shame because I'm going to th throw it away. <laughs> All right, so I got pink fluorite. And it looks like this. Rasp raspberry. Um, old gold. These are fun. I like that. And electric. These very, very, very much remind me of sparklers. <laughs> and I bet you they're probably the same thing. Let's grab them. Shall we? <laughs> they look almost exactly the same. Yep. If they're not, then I don't know. <laughs> so DIY Moon Electric and um, Sparklers Original. They're basically the same exact drill. Um, anyways, uh, let me know if you have shopped with DIY Moon shop and if you have had a good experience if you continue to shop with them um what you what your thoughts are um, let me know what you think about the kits that i got and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one all right bye